right into this because I have no time to fool around with fancy graphics because this is important. Uh, the information needs to be put out there ASAP uh, as far as the Long Island Railroad goes. And they have, once again, showed their contempt for us because they released the new schedule change November 13th through March 3rd um, uh, today, one day before the meeting tomorrow. The meeting that I will not be speaking at because I spoke at the last one addressing the very same problem. The latest thing you did to us here in Mineola was so inexcusable it had to be addressed. Without notice, you cut 10 trains from the midday schedule at Mineola. That's right, 10 trains uh, between Grand Central and Ronkonkoma skipped the station for no damn reason other than contempt. This was all quietly done on September 11th of all days when I noticed a whole bunch of Ronkonkoma trains that I take were missing from the train time app. I went to look at the schedule PDF and noticed you revised it without any notice to passengers. We went through three years of hell to have better intra-island service. And what did they do? Well, they decided to expand it. So let's go to the November timetable change. This is the first thing that we that was a hint of what was coming here. Uh, the track work programs, they're making some changes. Uh, one Babylon train that normally operates on early release days only will begin to operate Monday through Friday. So that's expansion in the Babylon branch. But they decided to cut two p.m. peak Ronkonkoma branch trains. Babylon branch two lightly p.m. peak Babylon trains eliminated. And then this is the big one here: weekend service adjustments at Woodside, Mineola, Carl Place, and Westbury. And actually, the adjustments are at Maryland Avenue and Carl Place in Mineola. So you can take a guess of what's happening. They're having, remember all those Ron Conkema trains that skip Mineola during the mid, midday weekdays? Well, now every other, every Ron Conkema train that goes to Grand Central, to and from Grand Central, will skip Mineola on weekends. That's right. It just shows their pure, pure contempt for us at this point. Uh, so we're going to show, we're going to get right to it right now because I'm obviously outraged over it, uh, but not surprised. Uh, so let's get right to it here, and you'll see what, what happens. You'll see here that this is the weekend schedule now. You'll see now every Ronkonkoma train, every other Ronkonkoma train is now going to skip Mineola. That's right. The trains coming from Grand Central are going to skip Mineola, leaving only one Ronkonkoma train an hour stopping at Mineola. So, uh, and that's going to leave some service gaps and cause some crowding. And, allow, and, and basically now when I need to go out east, I have to allow 15 to 20 additional minutes to go out east. Uh, basically, they've cut my service back to one train an hour going east on the Ron Conkham line. That's effectively what they've done. All right. Uh, this is there's no reason for this. Absolutely no reason. It's just it's just contempt. There's absolutely no reason other than the fact that Mineola, the bullseye is on Mineola. Mini's going down. This is another proof of it right here that they've now cut how many trains from Mineola. We're going to figure that out right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is just in, in, in the direction 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So they've cut 18 trains from Mineola. Uh, that's in one direction only. So it's almost 40 trains uh, from Mineola on, on weekends, on each weekend day. 40 trains. I mean, that's insane. Hang on a minute. That that seems a little over over the. Let me see. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So eighteen times two. Oh man, yeah, thirty six trains. I mean, that's insane. I mean, really, thirty six trains they cut from Mineola. Are you kidding me? And those trains, people took those trains. And here's the real kicker. They have all the trains stop at UBS. That's right. UBS Arena, after a certain time in the afternoon, after 2 o'clock, they're going to get half-hourly service to Ronkonkoma. But what if there's an event and a lot of people have parked at Mineola? Now you you're cut the service down at Mineola. You're literally encouraging people to go elsewhere. I mean, this makes no sense. This is blasphemy is what this is. This is just blasphemy. Um, and I think this change needs to be undone immediately, and I'm going to be contacting my state senator. Uh, forget about speaking at the meetings, because that's of no use at this point. Uh, i got to call the state senator. Uh, Jack Martins needs to get involved in this, all right, because this is not acceptable. Not only this, so again, they do the same thing in the other direction, all right? 
So same thing in the other direction, all right? So you're cutting the amount of service going to Mineola, all right? And so now what you've got to do, people are like, oh, well, you just have to change it. Eggs fill, you know, if you're going east. No big deal, no big deal. That's 15 extra minutes I've got to allow, allow. All right, so take a look. If I want to go east now from Mineola, if I want to go east from Mineola here, you can see the Mineola schedule right here. There we are on weekends, right? Okay, we are on weekends. All right? So because of that train, let's say I want to go east and get this train that uh, is at 144, all right? So instead of getting on this train at 136, which was his old schedule, now I've got to leave at 120. So that's 16 minutes earlier I've got to leave. All right, 16 minutes earlier. So basically, one, I might as well just race for the 106 so I don't have to transfer. See, effectively, I'm getting one train an hour because of that. I mean, who makes these decisions? But it gets worse than that. It gets worse than that for other people. All right, so then I, and then I got to sit in Hicksville for 13 minutes. This is pure stupidity. They are, have Mineola in the crosshairs. Mineola is in the crosshairs. Like I said, this is more proof of everything I've been saying about what's going on in Mineola. And then people will say, well, you have the Oyster Bay train. The Oyster Bay train doesn't run once an hour. It only runs every other hour. And also, it, that's of no use to me if I'm going east. So this is the problem. And then going back, going west, you'll see here going west is that... Um, you have, let's see, all right, this is going west. So, Ronkonkoma train skips Mineola, right, 10.30. So, you, this is a tight connection here, 10.32 and then 10.36. This is a tight connection. Uh, if the Ronkonkoma train is late, you may miss this train and then be stuck in Hicksville another half an hour unless they end in the middle of the night. Here, they still have a train skipping Mineola at 12.35. Even in the middle of the night, they have trains skipping Mineola. But it stops at UBS Arena. That's, that's what's fucked up about the whole thing. That's what's fucked up. I mean, the MTA has become just unbelievable. Like I said, Mineola, you got to just get out. I got to get out before it destroys me, all right? And if it means having to move to New Jersey, then that's what I'm going to have to do because I can't take this anymore. I can't take this anymore. I'm done here. You know, the best thing that happened for Mineola in the whole middle of the island, you have a big F5 wedge tornado, just ground this whole area to dust because it's worthless. It's worthless. It's not fair. I don't agree with it. But it's worthless. This is proof of that. All right, what else? What more? And then, and then look at this. I mean, it's ridiculous having trains skip Mineola in the middle of the night. Even. I mean, really, really. But they serve UBS Arena because I don't know why. Well, UBS Arena, I guess. Right? Even though there are a lot less people that take the train at UBS Arena, how the hell do they even get away with this? They're supposed to go by ridership. I'm sure they have their ridership calculations that are somewhere around the line saying, hey, you know, this is, this is, this is our ridership. Our ridership at Mineola is higher. Mineola warrants more service than UBS, but they're not doing that because they're playing favorites. They don't abide by their own guidelines, this, this Long Island Railroad. It's unbelievable how they get away with this crap. But like I said, I give up. I spoke at the meeting. I make these videos. It doesn't make a difference. The only difference I can make is getting the hell out of here before I crack up. All right, so... Anyway, um, it gets worse because another part of the project, another thing that they promised for people, as you'll see, is... Half hourly service at all the mainline stations like Carl Place and Maryland Avenue. Well, guess what, folks? If you live in Carl Place or you're Maryland Avenue, you're only going to have hourly service. And I think it's only going to go to, if I'm not mistaken, all right, you'll have hourly service to Penn, but you won't have any direct service to Grand Central at all. Because guess what? Now they're having the Huntington train skip Carl Place. Every other Huntington train is going to skip Carl Place and Maryland Avenue. That's right. They're doing that, too. They did that during the middle of the day. I told you what they were doing in the middays was a warm-up for what they were going to do for the weekends. I knew it. I knew it. I knew I was right. I knew I was right. So this is going to make my life harder, obviously. It just feels like we're just getting cut off here in Mineola. And, you know, people do take the train here. But, you know, 
you know, ridership hasn't recovered as much since the pandemic. Though I've seen a lot of people getting off Mineola trains. And this is the problem. When you have an event at, say, Forest Hills or something, and, and the train is crowded, now they're going to have to get on a Huntington train, which is going to be even more crowded. This is going to cause overcrowding on an empty train. Sales on by. It's passing through anyway. Why the fuck isn't it stopping there? What kind of fucking assholes run this railroad? They have no logic, no common sense. You people at the Long Island Railroad, you should all be out of a job. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. You don't know how to, how to run a railroad at all. What you do makes no common sense. None. And I'm going to yell and I'm going to scream in this video. Because this is outrageous. So, let's look at the schedules going. Now this is, now we're looking at the weekdays. And, of course, the weekday thing is still the same with the train skipping Mineola on weekdays, too, because they'll do that, too. All right? I mean, it's ridiculous. It's also not going to stop at Woodside, either. I think they might have taken Woodside out of that, too. I think those trains are supposed to stop at Woodside. So, I guess there's some really important person, probably lives in Farmingdale, who wants that little nonstop ride... Uh, you know what I mean, from, from Grand Central, so they don't have to stop at Woodside, they don't have to stop at, at Mineola, but somehow they stop at UBS because, well, that's UBS Arena, and our kind go there, it's UBS. It's, this organization serves the snobs. It's so obvious what's going on. It really is so obvious. I, I can't even state it enough at this point. And now i got to figure out what trains they cut from the schedule. All right, so... And, and it sucks for people in Maryland Avenue now. At Carl Place, you're only going to have hourly service. They promised half hourly service at all the mainline stations, and they went back on their word. They also promised they would have Montauk train stopping on the main line. They went back on their word with that, too. No, the only people who get the half hourly service at all their stations, Babylon Branch and Port Washington Branch, because that's where all the rich people live. This organization is disgusting. Jana Lieber, you're, you, all, you all suck. You, all of you suck. All of you. Robert Free, I, I mean, I want to give him a chance. He just got in. I have a feeling this is Kathy Rinaldi's work, but he still signed off on it. You could have spoken up and stopped it, but you didn't. You didn't because you all serve Wall Street. Each and every one of you serve Wall Street. There is no one in this organization that gives a shit about people like us. I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted right now. So let's figure out what trains they cut here from, from the schedule here. Because i got to figure this out now. Ron Conkham and Branch. Of course, I love how they don't list the trains because they, they cut from the schedule. And trust me, I'll be writing a scathing letter to the railroad, too, about this. I really am. So let's figure out what trains they cut. And this is the old schedule. See, we had our nice half-hourly service when every Ron Conkama train stopped at Mineola. Because Mineola is supposed to be a major station. We have loads of parking garages. We have a hospital. But no, this town is shit. This town is shit. It's worthless. The reason why it's worthless, oh, we don't have the right demographics this railroad cares about. And then you have Andy Keto coming on here saying, I'm racist. Now, I'm pointing out the racism that's going on, dumbass. I'm pointing it all out to you. I'm not the one who's racist. I don't agree with it. I hate it. That's why I'm mad as hell. But I have to take care of my own self and know that an area is going down. This neighborhood is finished, and I got to get the hell out of here. And it has nothing to do with the fact it's diverse. It has to do with the fact it's getting treated like shit because it's diverse. That's not my decision. So, anyway... Let's uh, look and figure out what trains they cut. All right, so they say they cut two p.m. peak trains on the Ron Conkmer line. So we're going to have to figure this out now. And we'll have to put the su schedule side by side. They cut two on the Babylon branch. They say lightly patronized. That's what they say, lightly patronized. They raised the fares and they cut service. This whole project, Grand Central, third track, it's all a sham. The be the best the biggest benefits go to the Babylon branch and the Port Washington branch. Anyway, let's 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 figure out what trains they cut here. 
410, 421, 425. That still runs. 434, 446, 504, 525. Let's see. Maybe they cut one of the Grand Central ones. I don't see. Let's figure out which one they cut here. 535, 545. Those are still there. 559, 602. That's still there. 514. 614 is still there. 642 is still there. 653. Am I looking at the right schedule here? It looks like everything's the same. 701. Ah, they cut the 701. Okay, so they cut the 701 from Grand Central. So now they've eliminated the 701 from Grand Central. So if you want to get a Ron Conkerman train from Grand Central and you missed the 614, well, you're going to have to transfer or wait all the way till 749. Or do they cut that train too? Let's figure it out. Um, yeah, they cut the 749 too. So they have an 801. They have an 801. Okay. So now you're going to have to wait. There's going to be a two-plus hour gap on the wrong con- 514, and then the next train at the Grand Central isn't until 801. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Lightly patronized? This is going to cause overcrowding on the wrong con- Every wrong con- con- train rush hour is overcrowded. I know I've taken them. But again, they want to drive down the ridership so people go to the South Shore. He did take away two Babylon branch trains, so let's let's find those out. I'm sure the snobs on the Babylon branch won't have that horrible gap. I'm sure of it. Let's figure that out. All right, so Babylon branch. Babylon branch. All right, let's go here. You notice how much more trains they get, too. Man, so much more service that they get. They're so important. Just so important. you got to be with them, though. If you're not with them, man, you just you got to live with that group of people on Long Island if you want to have a good quality of life, unfortunately. And if you can't, then you might as well just live elsewhere. All right, let's figure out what trains they've got here. 425, 437. 442, no, that one's still there. 451, 5 o'clock, those are still there. 530, 530, 551. I have a feeling they cut them after. So 551, it's a 617, maybe they cut that one. Mm, nope, they didn't cut that one. Um, let's see, maybe they cut the... 641, 647, they didn't cut any of those. 708, they didn't cut any of those. I'm trying to figure out what train they cut on the on the Babylon branch. Maybe it was a train out of Penn they cut. See how much more service they're getting out of Grand Central? I mean, they're getting so much more service than the Ronkonkoma branch gets. It's ridiculous. Why do they spend all this money in this Grand Central project? It's a huge waste of money because there's no absolute, hardly any service improvement going on. And whatever service improvements they think, they're walking back. All right, 641, 647, that one's still there. I'm trying to figure out what train they cut. Maybe it's one of the pen trains, 513. Look at that, 513, 516, 519, uh, 528, 540, 543, 605, that's still there. 617, that's still there. I'm trying to figure out what they cut here. 67, 702. 628, 631, 634. Nope, those are still there. It's not like Babylon Branch is all their service. Uh, 6, so, uh, 732, 723, 732. They still have those two. Oh, okay. They cut the, the Atlantic trains. They cut one of the Atlantic trains. Those are the trains they cut. No, they just cut one of the Atlantic trains. Of course, that that's because it only went to Freeport. It was kind of useless anyway. And let's see, 747. Yeah, I think they cut the Atlantic trains. That's what they did. Nope. All right, so let's see, 750. That's still there, 750. So they only cut one of the Atlantic trains here. I'm trying to figure out. They have to cut another. I know I'm missing it. I know I'm missing it. And I, and I really do apologize. Maybe it was 759 they cut? No. Uh, 
I can't find it. Thirteen. I wish they would list the trains they would cut, but they don't actually do that. They said they cut two Babylon branch trains, or maybe it was just one. It says two lightly patronized PM Babylon branch trains eliminated. Um, so we're trying to figure that out. I'm wasting your time. I know. I'm probably wasting your time. But I can't figure it out. Uh, I'm sure one of you viewers can point out what I'm missing here. I kind of want to get this video out. So this is the train that's going to be a permanent train. The 238 says, no, one, it's an early getaway train. Well, now it's going to run all the time. So, oh, wait, that's the other one. Wait a minute. All uh, right, which is, which is the new one? I think I have this reversed. Yeah, all right, this is the new one here. I'm looking at the wrong one. Okay, let's see. Maybe we're figuring it out. We're looking at it wrong somehow. I don't know. It's like you've got to get the size the same. So let's do that. We'll get the size the same, and we'll see if we can figure out what trains they've eliminated here. Because it seems like they only eliminated one train. Well, I can't find it. I'm sure one of you viewers can point it out to me. Uh, but anyway, the point I'm making is this train here, the, two, the 246 train, that's going to used to be a Note 1, which means it only ran Fridays. 238, I'm sorry, 238 train, that's going to run now uh, every day. So, again, they're going to get such frequent service. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Three trains an hour. They get the best there. They get the best. It's unbelievable. It really is. It really is. It just truly is unbelievable. So the other thing that I want to bring up here before I finish this video here, um, there's a change on the Montauk branch schedule that may be a mistake. And I'll point this out to you because I can't believe it. I'm, now, obviously, we know no Montauk trains are stopping on the main line, even though they'll be going down the main line because, again, they don't give a shit about us. But um, weekdays. There's a train that goes to, unless they fixed it, you notice there's a mistake on the schedule. Uh, PM, 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 it goes AM, AM, PM, AM, and then the 310, they don't have stopping at Mineola, which that serves a lot of Chaminade kits. And I think it's a mistake, though, because if we go to the Port Jefferson branch schedules, you'll still see it on the schedule. So that's why I think it's a mistake. Close to wrapping up this video. Um, you'll see here, if we go to the Port Jefferson branch schedules here, that it is on here. Let's see, here it is. Right here, 310, 324. So it does show up on the Port Jefferson schedule. This might be a misprint. There's a lot of time, and if they get rid of that train, that's going to be a big problem. All right, but it just goes to show you the railroad does not care. They're, these people here are Wall Street hacks, particularly Jano Lieber. Now, I can't, I'm not going to pass judgment on Donald Robert Free. All right, but most of these people are Wall Street hacks. You know, Kathy Rinaldi is. Most of these people are Wall Street hacks. They don't care about anyone. All right, all right. And then we can go to the MTA board. This is their executive leadership. They really ha try to hide the leadership, too, by the way. So they go to leadership, your executive leadership. They don't really want to. Um, MTA board members and all these people are Wall Street hacks especially this guy Gerard Bringman they all are they're all Wall Street hacks they're disgusting they really are you know they're all white most of them are white I mean there's no, absolutely no diversity who do you think this organization is going to represent they're not going to represent communities of color they're only going to discriminate against them it's so obvious what's going on so how dare Andy Keto come on here and tell me I'm, I'm racist and I'm hating on diversity I'm speaking up for people who are diverse I'm speaking up about the discrimination but nobody else seems to want to give a damn about it. And i got to take care of myself now and try to get myself into the favorite area of Long Island. And if I can't, then i got to shut up and go live in New Jersey, which unfortunately has a fairly large likelihood of happening, unfortunately. Uh, you know, I, I can't stay in Mineola. I've got to be out of here by, by 2025. I am not living here, all right? If I can't live where I need to on the South Shore, then I'm going to be living in New Jersey. I'm not just staying here in Mineola. This place is going down, and it's going down fast. All right? These schedule changes are just more proof of it. Um, that's all I could say about this. this. is discrimination. It's illegal, but they get away with it because we all know the Wall Street can do whatever they want in New York. Anyway, I've got to put this video together and get it up. So 